Yo, yo, yo. Three years ago, we made this comedy series about a guy who falls in love with a terrorist. And now we're finally showing it to the world. And if you want to know why it's taken us so long, we share our story on our podcast, Yalla But, at the link in the description. For now, this is episode four. So please enjoy. I'm sorry, my flower. The Wi-Fi in this jungle is terrible. Also, she is just the intern. I swear on the harvest moon. I hate it when she keeps disturbing my calls. And she walks around naked? Naked? What is naked? Naked is a construct. So that's why I was sent to Singapore for this mission. What do you mean? As soon as I'm gone, you have a new flower. My flower? That is false. I have chosen you because I can trust you on the front lines. Right. The harvest is soon upon us. We must wait for the right time where the harvest sun and blood moon align. We can't just sit around and wait. We're vulnerable. You will need more time to gather the bomb materials. I have a job that allows us to gather the materials we need. It will not be enough. But... We will wait. I have a plan. Ascent. We will... Wait! Go! Uh. Is that your wife? Yes, that was. I'll pull my beard again. Sit up. Don't you have to be at work? Oh, uh, I was just up setting up the room. We have a new plan. What, what new plan? I spoke to Kong and he wants us to move forward with the attack. But we don't even have a target or the materials to make. Shh. I've been gathering materials bit by bit. We'll have enough. You just focus on getting the money. How was last night? Uh, for the harvest. There was a lot more. But that scumbag mom son took most of it. This is good enough. So what's the next step? We need to find a new target. I may have a lead. A customer that's buying me dinner has access to this thing called... The Vanilla Ball. Vanilla Ball? It's an art event. Exclusive even for the rich. Sounds elitist. Sounds perfect. I'll get Hayden to help us prep. You get us in. I'll make it happen. Yeah. Right after I do this other very important thing. Grilling my kebab? Hmm? When I was jerking off? Okay, I was masturbating, okay? So she walked in like mid orgasm and the lights were off, so all she could hear was me. And she just kept asking, Are you, are you sobbing because you're hungry? Did I, did I not give you enough dal? It just went on and on, so I just had to make up a fake story about an imaginary guy called Robert and how it was just in that moment that I found out he has cancer. You know, up till today, every Deepavali, my mom still asks me how Robert's family is coping. The sad part is that three weeks ago, I found out my ex-wife is fucking a man called Robert. It's perfectly normal to feel vulnerable. So please feel free to take a minute to compose yourselves. I know what it's like to lose someone. I grew up in a farm. My family, we didn't have much, but we were happy. Everything we needed, we grew on our land, or up from the neighbors. My mother wanted me to move to a big city. I just couldn't leave my little sister behind. One day, some rich men in their 
expensive suits showed up. They wanted our land for development. A family refused. A village refused. That's when the attack started. At first, every week. Soon, every night. Our village still refused to move. Until one night, they burned down my entire village. What happened to your family? My parents died trying to save my sister. Oh, I love you so, so much! You? I like the chest you in my chest room. Oh. oh, and you like the sun in my koita. <laughs> <coughs> I have to go to the bathroom. Watch him, please. Focus, Lang. You are on a mission. You are on a mission to flush out capitalism. <clears throat> Joe, take this. You can't use it for calls except to those working here. It takes photos and videos, but there's no internet. What? Sorry, it's government policy. Okay, if I get you the evidence, can you promise me amnesty? No police case, no court appearances. Joe, I can't promise you anything. It really depends on what you get me. Joe! What are you doing? It's government property. I have to put it at a place like Wolunia. Oh, won't I go near? Uh, the, them. Okay, everyone. I think we're done for today. I'll see you next week. What's wrong? Oh, uh, my kebab's hot. Hmm. Wow, all these Atlas events are all the same. All the rich people dressing up, partying, posing for photos. Hey! This is the rich crypto guy! Wow, he's so rich. His wife must be super. <sighs> Chills, yeah. Look, this Tai Tai. Her hair looks like Marina Bay Sands. With the boat on top. <laughs> Sorry, I picked it up from work. Left the parts at home to fix. Actually, I need help with something. Vibrator? Bullet type? No, you idiot. It's the remote type. <laughs> yeah, she's definitely the bullet type. <laughs> Don't be sad, sweetie. It's just a toy. It's my boat! Wasn't your mom there? I'm sure she would have sent a letter to the newspaper or something. No! Okay, then we'll buy you another one, okay? But the bully will just keep on breaking it. Next time you see the bully, make sure that you avoid him at all costs. Come on, let's go. Okay. Don't worry, sweetie. You'll get over it, okay? Well, that worked. So, what are you going to do now? I don't know. Shower? Hey!
All right, let's do this one more time. Ah! Die, I leave the scab in the skunk! Hey, 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 woohoo language! Papa, I'm telling Tommy how to deal with bullies. <laughs> Lang? Basic self defense. You choose to run, but I choose to fight. Yay! <laughs> Time for bed. Mm -hmm. Papa? Yes, dear? I don't feel scared anymore of the bully. Well, that's good. It's great. Bye, Elite Scott and Scum. Uh, language. Well, maybe someday we can go shopping. Or a toy together sometime? <clears throat> I have to go to work. to join us in Singapore. More? Yes, reinforcements to flood the capitalist cesspool to make our house all the more plentiful. Mm -hmm. So chill out until they come. Money fucker! What? But not you. We actually have a date already. First of May. First May, first May. That's too soon. No. Yes, they'll never expect it. It's like coming from behind. <laughs> Don't you want to wait till more of the reinforcements arrive? Actually, we already have access to a high society event. <sighs> what event? It's an art event. Rich businessmen, socialites, officials, or catch them off guard when they're drinking their champagne and eating their caviar. <sighs> Why not? It's a golden opportunity. Be patient, my darling. We must lie in the shadows and wait for the right time. Mikey, if you trust me, you'll... Wait. <gasps> Come to bed. You have to be at work in a few hours time. Yeah, sure. Yes. Kiara is damn cute, right? Do you want to have kids next time? Children are weak. Is that why we use protection? Protection? Yeah. Uh, you mean... I mean protection. Like how you use your gun to protect me and Kiara. Oh, protection. Yeah. Mm. Self-defense. 
there are many threats out there. I know. Thanks. My checkers. See you. Bye. Bye. Lang. Good work. You won't have to do this much longer. I've told Kong about our plan to attack the event. And? He's all for it. Really? But don't you think it's a little too soon? Lang, how much longer do you want to wait to avenge your family? Remember, you are a soldier, not some cheap escort. Now get us into the event. I'm working on Melvin. Yeah. Okay, okay. Uh, just um, hang on. Yes! Oi! Aiden! Long time no see, ah? So this is your hiding spot, lah. Guys, I can feel back with you guys! Hey, you think you may come and look at Louis? Oh, yeah! 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 Oh
Michelle? Michelle? Hey, why are you so serious, huh, Michelle? I'm actually really busy right now. Sorry. Yeah, relax la. What are you watching? It's confidential. But is it work-related though? Because if it's work-related, right, like, we should share the information. Yeah, not this. Sorry. <sighs> look, look, okay. I understand where you're coming from. You're not happy that Prem chose me for the budget meeting. I get it. I totally understand. I will be upset too. In fact, I am. And I even uh, went to talk to Prem about it. I put my foot down. Really? Yeah. I mean, Michelle, despite my outer appearance as a douchebag, deep down inside, the depths of my heart, I know that I'm a civil servant. You're a civil servant. We are civil servants. And you said so yourself, right? We're the first line of defense. We have to upkeep our oath, uphold justice. If the people don't have us, who would they have? No, but I get it. I mean, if you want to go Lone Ranger, I'm, I get it, I get it. I just thought, you know, as a team, we could collaborate more. I mean, that'd be more beneficial, right? That's all. It's good, it's good, man. Don't worry about it. Okay, wait. I... I think this could be useful. You're yeah, very clever. Anyone told you that before? Probably... probably not, lah. But... Uh, not clever. Good news. I've added more comrades. <sighs> Dead ready. And for the last time, guys, I love animals too. But you gotta just learn to keep those pets at home. Whoever it is that's using the office internet to surf the website xhamster.com, please stop it. Okay? You're dismissed. Go. Thank you. Oh, wait, wait. Actually, I think I want to take this opportunity to commend someone in this room who has been working extra hard to meet our department's KPIs. Ladies and gentlemen, Han Yong! There, yeah, there you go! go. <laughs> Han Yong! Thank you, thank you, my man. This Ivy League grad has done it yet again. You know, what is this breakthrough that you've had? Well, one of my cases volunteered information. And right now, he's collecting evidence on sham marriage rings right here in Singapore. Video evidence, guys. This is the silver bullet that we've been waiting for. So, I am now assembling a cross-department task force that will be led by Han Yong himself. And this task force will be called... Task Force HNM. Now, the more perceptive of you might have already guessed that the H in HNM stands for Han Yong. Obviously. Yeah. But, what does the M stand for? Michelle, any guesses? No? Anyone else in the room? Muhammad is not you. Try again next year, please. Okay. Hanya, why don't you break the suspense and tell everybody? M stands for more in honor of this great man who is currently working undercover in one of these chair marriages. Guys, I saw this video. It had a date and it said, more are coming. We've got a lot of work ahead of us, but you follow my leadership, and I promise you, 
we're gonna crack this case wide open. Remember, the best is yet to be. To be. Or not to be. That's the question. Shakespeare? Task Force H&M, everybody, yeah! yeah. I thought I told you to keep the video between us. Why did you go and... Hey, you heard the man. That was the silver bullet we needed. But that was my information. I was only asking for your advice. I thought I could trust you, Han Yong. Michelle, relax. Han Yong, don't tell me to relax. This is how our team works best. Besides, we just got a task force. No, this is unfair. I'm going to tell Prem all oh, about it. Oh, Prem. <laughs> well, if you're going to tell Prem, then I guess I'll have to tell Prem too. I'm not the one who went behind his back and caught a moo. Hanyo, are you threatening me? <laughs> no. I'm just telling you to play it smart. And FYI, this is borderline sexual harassment. Look, just play along and give me all the information that your mole has. <laughs> Who knows? You just might be able to keep your job. As my bitch. Coming home. What are you doing? Uh, just a, a new recipe. What, well, I want to try? What's in it? Uh, just some uh, kangkong and sambal and baked beans and orange juice. It's a Singaporean specialty. <laughs> mm, yum. 